guess what? There's some good news. So remember, there's lots of strikes happening. Well, a big one was John Deere. John Deere strike to end as workers vote to approve the contract. Isn't that great news? A majority of John Deere and companies striking workers on Wednesday voted to approve a modified contract proposed by a farm equipment maker ending a near six week strike. The United Auto Workers members of Deere ratified a six year agreement. By a vote of 61% to 39%, the union said. Deere said it has been informed that workers will resume operations Wednesday evening. I think it was last Wednesday. Deere said last week it made modest modifications to its second proposal that was rejected by 55% of the United Auto Workers earlier this month. That's funny. UAW workers. That's United Auto Workers workers. That's kind of fun. It's kind of funny. Uh, The company and the union did not elaborate on the modifications, but the workers demanded better pay from John Deere, which forecast a record net income of five point seven billion to five point nine billion this year. So that's their profits. That's not their gross. That's what their profit is. That's a lot of money Uh, to claw back concessions they made on some benefits in the past. The strike had thrown several of Jeer's businesses into turmoil. Software engineers and computer programmers left their desks to assemble sprayers and combines and manufacturing plants instead. The agreement brings to an end the work stoppage that took some 10,000 workers off the job for just over a month. The last time John Deere workers picketed 35 years ago, it lasted 163 days. So here's what they got. Uh, it's they got a six year contract that will increase workers wages by 10 percent in the first year and then five percent in the third and fifth years. A three percent bonus will be paid in the even years of the contract based on prior year earnings. And each worker will receive an eight thousand five hundred dollar signing bonus. This seems like they got a good deal. I think that sounds like a good deal. Yes. I don't know. So I I like what this guy said. Maybe you can't read it. He said, there it is. The deer contract is ratified and the strike is over. 10,000 members, 10,000 members turned down two contracts, killed a new tier, doubled their raises, improved pensions, won back COLA, cost of living adjustments, and showed the country that you can still strike and win big. What a righteous fight. They won big. That's a big win. So they killed a new tier. I think that refers to when he said they they wanted to have new hires paid less. That's right. And get get less benefits. And they said, no, F that. So they were looking out for their future workers. They weren't even looking out for themselves. They were looking out for the workers who come after them. That's what unions should do. And that's what they're doing. And they won big. Remarkable that National Democrats stayed away from the picket lines and these John Deere workers over the past two months. Yeah, where were they? Where were all the Democrats? I think one guy from Joe Biden's administration showed up at one point. I think it might have been Tom Vilsack. One person. Where's all the squad? Why weren't they out there? Where's all the, huh? Imagine the good the goodwill they'd have en- engendered with the 60% of Iowa that supported the strike. The strike was 18% more popular than Joe Biden is in Iowa. So why weren't all the Democrats out there? Because they're the party of Wall Street. That's why. And you can't be the party of Wall Street and also represent workers. That's why. So nobody represents workers right now. And uh, the people who used to vote Democrat are now voting Republican because, as Chuck Schumer told us, they don't care if they lose a blue collar worker in the Democratic Party. They're going to make up with it with two white collar Republicans in the suburbs. That's still their strategy. They're not going after workers. They're seeding blue collar workers to the Republican Party. That's your Democrats. Hooray. And if you try to reach out to those workers, they'll call you a red brown alliance, which is the biggest moronic term I've fucking heard in a long time. So if you try to work out to reach out to American workers to fight against the oligarchy, people will say that's a red brown alliance. (laughs) And those people are fucking morons. Who I'm, I'm probably being paid to undermine Unions and people coming together to fight the oligarchy. Anybody spouting Red Brown Alliance bullshit is a bullshitter. Fact.
How about that? So that's just to stop you from joining with your brother, your your worker, your neighbor, your fellow worker. That's to try to divide workers. That's what that shit is. <laughs> Red Bra- They called the Medicare for All march a Red Brown Alliance. Yeah, you know you're going to have to get right wingers and left wingers together to get anything big done, right? You know, that shows how powerful a a movement is when you get people of all different political stripes combined and backing a proposal politically. That shows the strength of it, not the weakness of it. But that's what infiltrators do. They'll call it a red-brown alliance to split workers from each other. And at this show, we're going to call it out. And so that shit doesn't happen. And when it does happen, you know what it is. It's an attempt to divide workers from joining together. Okay, over to Steph. You know, Jimmy, you know, when when you're covering the story, I was sitting there. Oh, camera four beside me. I was wondering uh, how many of those John Deere workers, I wonder what their political affiliations were. I wonder when they were all voting. Did the union union leaders go, hey, wait a minute. Did you vote Democrat or did you vote Libertarian? Did you vote Republican? How did you vote? No, you want to know why? They're united. They're united for the force of the workers. And so they don't go and and figure out what your affiliations are when they're bartering, when they're... uh, brokering a great deal for their union members yeah. back to jimmy yeah I, i'm gonna i'm gonna guess at john deere i'm gonna guess at john deere there was a lot of trump voters in that union oh no that's a red brown alliance that's a red brown alliance how could you do that you, you're only supposed to organize with, uh, with people from the dsa and you and whisper and don't clap because it hurts their ears you know you're not supposed to actually organize actual workers So when you hear people say that shit, those are people who never organized anything. People who say Red Brown Alliance. They've never organized anything. Hey, come see us do a live stand-up show in Portland, Oregon, the 26th and 27th of November. That's Thanksgiving weekend. See you there. And please join our premium program. Get a lot of extra stuff. We'll talk to you later. (laughs) 